Hey guys, it's Alexis and today I'm going to be doing a story time with you guys on how my friend had sex with my ex-boyfriend. So if you want to hear more about this story, then stay tuned. But also don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you already aren't subscribed. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you the background of my relationship with this girl. So basically, we were really good friends. And when I mean good friends, I mean we would hang out, talk on the phone. Like, when I claim someone as my friend, I really fuck with you. Like, I don't really fuck with many people. So if I claim you as one of my good friends, then we're pretty close. That means I trust you enough to come over to my house. Like, on that type of level. So I've known this girl since probably high school because we're from the same side of town. And I would say I've known her probably about 21 now. I would say I've known her over five years. Our level of friendship wasn't as close as me and my best friends, but it was close enough to where I would come to her house or she would come to my house. Like, we were that close. Close enough where I trust her to come to my home. We went on shopping dates together. We went on lunch dinner dates together i even spent her 21st birthday with her and we know a lot of mutual friends that's another thing but anyway so basically you know everybody knows who my ex-boyfriend is and y'all know how long i was with him and all everything that happened in our relationship how i held him down while he was in prison blah blah blah, blah. like right after we broke up we was like we hated each other but we got to this understanding where it was like, I was still fucking him. I'm just going to get that out of the way. We were still fucking. I wasn't dealing with nobody else. But it was just sex. Okay. One day, he came over to my house. And we were just talking. And for some reason, he was just trying to get out of the fucking zone and into more shit. And I was like, no. Like, this is just that. We're just fucking blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't fuck with you like that no more. I don't want to be in a relationship with you. Then we start arguing. I said I would fuck your friend. I was like, don't fuck with me because I will go fuck your best friend. That's what I said. Not meaning it or anything, but that is what I said. So he was like, okay, and I will fuck one of your friends. And I was like, I don't have any friends that will fuck you. Like, I thought all of my friends' loyalty lies with me, but I guess not because... She fucked him. No one else that stays in my ex's building told me and was like, yeah, I seen her in the lobby with him. And I was like, are you sure? Like, are you sure they were together? And he was like, yes, they was like together. And I was like, okay, cool. So then two days later, right after he told me that, my ex sends me a picture of him on FaceTime with the girl, my friend. And I was like, okay, like I didn't care. For one, I didn't care because his intentions was to make me jealous, but because I wasn't in a relationship with him, I really didn't care because he's not my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Had he had been my nigga, okay, yeah, I would've got mad at him, but he's not. I just sent the smirky face emoji. And he sent me a video. He sent me a video of her recording him in the shower. She was saying something. I'm not going to say it. But I could hear her voice and her laugh. So I knew it was her for a fact. Because, you know, any nigga could screenshot a FaceTime and make it seem like it's something that is not. But the video proved it all. Like, they was fucking. Because anytime he has sex, he takes a shower and... The video had something to do with that so long story short i wasn't mad at him but his intentions was to make me mad at him but i didn't give a fuck because he wasn't my nigga i took it upon myself to call her and ask her so i was like hey i just this is how i came at her because you're my friend right so i'm gonna respect you you're my friend so I was, I was like, hey, I just want to let you know that I'm coming to you as a friend because I think that's what we are. 
and I just want to ask you out of no disrespect, are you fucking with my ex? And this girl is like, what? This is this is how she's talking. She's like, <laughs> what? No, how would I be fucking with him? And I'm in another country. She was in another country at the time. And I was like, I didn't say that you're fucking him at this moment. I said that, are you fucking with him? Like, as in, did you fuck with him before? Did you fuck with him after? Hold on, because I have a video of me recording our conversation. I'm going to find it. Yeah, so the whole time that I was asking her uh, was she fucking with my ex, she was like laughing and like saying, I'm with my homegirl, like how could I be with him, da, 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 blah, 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 but I was even like, um, what's funny, like I missed the joke because I don't get what's funny. At that point, I was like, okay, bitch, like you gonna laugh to my face? Okay, so I was like... If I see you, I'm popping your ass in the face. Like, <laughs> at this point, you're supposed to be my friend, but you fucked my ex, for one. And then I asked you about it, and you lied to my face. I don't play. First of all, I don't play about lying. Like, lying. Don't lie to me, because the, the truth is going to come out. And I just need for everyone to understand, like, when you lie, that shit is going to come out. The truth is going to come out, like, always. So, what's the point of lying? And I feel like, has she had been honest with me? When I had asked her, I would have been cool with it. Because it's like, okay, cool. I'm not with the nigga no more. And then you were honest about it. Cool. No beef. But because that's my ex and you my friend and you lied about it, now it's a problem. Because now you lying to me. That's basically the story about how my friend fucked my ex. And me and him, we still like, we're okay. Like, I don't hate him, but, you know. Like, I don't give a fuck who he fucks because that's not my nigga. That's his bitch's problem. You know? Like, his whole, he got a whole ass bitch. And that's her problem to deal with. That's not my problem. That has nothing to do with me. So, I don't really give a fuck. Like, we're not together. So, I don't care. So, that was just that. I just really don't respect bitches who claim you as their friends. And then do some trifling shit like that and then lie about it because that shit's not cool at all. I would never, even to this day as a friend, me as a friend to any of my friends, I would never do no shit like that. I, this shit, I just could never do some shit like that to my friends. But, you know, some people loyalty levels are different than others and that's just them. But I just know that I can't fuck with bitches like that. So I'm good on you and any other bitch who feel like violating me. Because that's just what you did. If I ever see you. Then you know what's up. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't already. Also leave in the comment box below. Any suggestions that you have for my next video. And don't forget to share this video. With your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your side nigga. Or even your baby mama. Love you. Mwah.